Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm happy that you're here because it's finally getting a little bit chilly here in Atlanta and I'm excited to finally break out some of my coats. So in this video, I'm showing you guys some of my favorites from my coat collection. So before we get into today's video, I wanna welcome everyone who's new here. Welcome to Park Avenue. My name is Ashley Park, and I have tons of fashion content for you guys to check out. You can check out all of my playlists. I do hauls, outfit inspiration videos. I have a ton of fashion content. So when you find something you like, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my uploads. And you guys can check me out on my other socials, on Instagram, Pinterest. I actually upload individual outfit photos on Pinterest, so that way you guys can build your own fashion boards however you wanna see them, and you don't have to search through tons of my videos to get some inspiration. But if you want to, that's fine too. I don't mind for you guys to check out some of my other videos. And if you enjoy this one, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Okay, so now let's talk about these coats. I love coats. They're one of my favorite fashion accessories. They really can just take your outfit to a whole nother level. I grew up in New York, so we had some really cold winters and it's cold for a lot of the year. So I really have built my coat collection over the years. And then when I moved to Atlanta, it's not that cold for that long. So I don't really get to wear my coats as much as I would like to, but I do get to bring them out for a little bit. And I'm happy that recently it has getting, it's being a little bit chillier. The days are fairly warm and I'm really surprised because of how late it is in the year, but it's getting a little chilly now, so I'm really excited to start bringing out my coats and I wanna wear them like as long as I can. <laughs> now here's the first coat that I wanna show you guys and I've really been loving this coat. I can't wait to get more wear out of it. I have worn it a few times because it has like the temperatures have dropped in the evening, but I haven't worn it as much as I would love to, but I have been able to style it a ton of different ways. So this coat is Nordstrom Signature. I got it during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's cashmere, it's super warm, but it's not too heavy. It's pretty lightweight. It's not like a dead winter coat. Like you're not gonna be able to wear this in a snowstorm or anything like that, but it's pretty warm and perfect for where I live. And what I like about this coat is the cascading collar. That was something that I was specifically looking for because those kinds of coats are so elegant and timeless. And I think they're super flattering. Now, if you're someone who is like a little bit insecure or you know, not sure how to dress your body or if you feel like you're not perfectly proportioned or whatever it is you have in your mind about your body, these cascading collar coats create the most gorgeous silhouette, the most gorgeous silhouette. They're so flattering and like I'm wearing an old black outfit here, so the coat really shines. It really stands out, but it can go with so many things. And of course the color is a classic, a camel color. So, so perfect. This is one of my favorite coats right now. And even if I don't reach for it, you know, sometimes you have those pieces in your closet where you know that they're perfect to have in your wardrobe and you know you're gonna wear them forever, but sometimes you go a long stretch of time without reaching for them. It might be even a couple of years, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is one of those pieces I'm gonna wear every single year, but even if one year I decided, you know what, I'm kind of over the cascade collar, which I don't see happening, but let's just pretend that it did then I know that I will never get rid of this coat because this style is just a really timeless style. So even if I don't reach for it, I'm gonna go back to it. So for me, this is something that's perfect and I do recommend you guys trying it out because it is so flattering. It's like universally flattering. So if you're looking for another style or another kind of coat to add to your collection, this one is perfect. Now, one thing I wanna point out about this coat is that it doesn't have a belt. That may or may not be a deal breaker for you, but what's cool about it not having a belt is that you can really customize it so you can add your own belt to it. And I do like to add some of my own belts to this coat because you can really change the look. I've worn it with my white Gucci belt. That's really cute. My reversible Ferragamo belt. It's black on one side and brown on the other side. That looks super cute with it. So you can really change it up if you have a chain belt or a really thick wide belt, that'll be cute as well. So you can get a lot of different looks depending on whatever you're going for or you can just leave it open. So like I said, the cascade collar can really just do its thing and it's so beautiful. It's really the perfect accessory for like an everyday coat. You throw this on and you don't really have to do too much. And like I'm wearing here, just an all black look, you can tell that you don't have to make a big statement. The coat is a statement here. I really like that, but it's in the most like minimal, elegant way. So gorgeous. Now this next coat I wanna show you guys is from Zara. I've had it for a while and I've styled it a ton. I mean, I've gotten a lot of wear out of this coat throughout the years. It has been very versatile in my wardrobe and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it because it looks so expensive. Like when I style this coat with a lot of my wardrobe, it looks very expensive. It's a great way to add an elevated element to your looks 
very easily. Now this coat isn't very heavy, it's pretty lightweight, but it's pretty warm as well. I've been able to wear it with chunky turtlenecks. And what I like about this coat in particular is that the arms are a little bit wider. So when I wear a chunky sweater, it, it fits comfortably. I never had an issue with putting a really heavy sweater underneath this coat. And I've actually even worn it over blazers. So I like the fact that I can layer under this and I can put chunkier layers under it and still be very comfortable. I love the tie belt because you can cinch in the waist very comfortably, it looks really great. And you can just switch out the belt as well. Like I told you guys in the first coat that I showed you, I'm gonna put other belts with it. So you can do that here, but if you don't want to, or if you don't have a belt, this one already has it for you. This is a really nice coat. So I decided that I don't need two coats that are so similar. So I am going to part ways with this one. I've put it up on my closet sale. And if you guys are interested in shopping my closet, you can check out this coat or other pieces that I have available. So make sure you guys check out the description box because I'll have the link directly to my website. Now this next coat I wanna show you guys is actually a cape. I've had this one in my collection for years. This wool cape is by Calvin Klein. It's actually really warm. Now, one thing about this cape that I love is the fact that I can really cinch in my waist. That is really what drew me into it because you know, sometimes a lot of capes can just be kind of shapeless. They just look like, like literally like you just put a piece of fabric over you. And sometimes those can be cool, but for the most part, especially if you're a curvy girl, you wanna still be able to define your waist and give yourself some sort of definition. And I like that this one is able to do that. So if you guys can find a cape that has a belt or maybe stuck like stronger shoulders or some sort of feature that really can define your silhouette, I think that would be great. This one is in camel, again, a really great neutral, easy color to wear, again, timeless. I'm not gonna get tired of this color. Capes are classic. So even if I decide to just lay off it for a while, like I said, I'm gonna keep reaching for it throughout the years. And capes look really cute with like really long gloves. I actually wore this one in the past with some really long gray gloves that I had. So cute. And then you can wear like um, like a cap, maybe like something more of like an equestrian style cap or even one of those driving caps. That'll be super cute with this as well. So you can play around with the winter accessories. That's always great. But the collar on this one is nice and high. So if I wanted to, I can really pull it up and bundle up and um, put a chunky sweater underneath and still keep really warm. But I really like that tie waist. I think it just does a great job with defining the waist and creating a really nice silhouette. Now this next coat I got from Zara probably like two years ago. Maybe, over, it's definitely over a year. But love this because it's white. It's a great statement coat and it still has that cascading collar. Not as dramatic as the Nordstrom Signature coat that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video, but still very flattering and a classic shape. These robe style coats are my absolute favorite because they are classic and they're never gonna go out of style. I mean, I have a lot of coats that I really love, but these are really easy and simple because you can wear them every day over like jeans and sweaters and you know, really everyday kind of clothes, but you can also like throw them over your shoulders if you're wearing an evening dress, maybe something like a cocktail dress, something really cute, uh, even a slip dress. I've actually worn this over a slip dress, very elegant. It just looks really chic and effortless and it just really floats on the body and it's so flattering. I love these kinds of coats. And of course, in white, it is a statement. It's a great neutral. And I know a lot of people get scared to wear white coats because they're afraid they're gonna get dirty or get really trashed, but Honestly, you guys, you bought the stuff so you can wear it, so wear it. You can do things to treat the fabric. Um, what I did with my white blazer that I had over the summer, I put a little bit of Scotch Guard on it, and then I did it outside, spray it with Scotch Guard outside. Start with a little patch, like a little piece of the fabric maybe on the inside of the coat, just test it out, and then let it dry, and then make sure you know it doesn't stain or anything happens to it. But once you're good to go on that, then just spray the whole coat outside or in a really well-ventilated area let it dry and then it adds another layer of protection so that way you're safeguarded or scotch guarded <laughs> from any stains or anything happening, especially around the wrists or maybe like on the inside of the coat if you wear dark denim. Now, I really wouldn't wear any dark denim with a white coat, but you know, you might be living on the wild side. So hopefully Scotch Guard can help you out there. But those are little things you can do to try to like safeguard yourself from having any issues. But if you're buying a white coat, wear the white coat. Don't worry your body getting stained. Obviously, you know, be a little bit careful as far as not drinking like red wine or, you know, eating a lot of sauces when you're wearing the coat, but just wear it. That's what you bought it for. You bought it to wear it. And I love the way this white coat looks paired with this all black outfit. It's a really nice pop. Now my next coat is my jacket. I fell in love with this. I was actually looking for another one. This one is from H&M. I was looking for another one at H&M and they didn't have it. So when I walked in, they had just this one. They only had one size and just one. 
left. I tried it on and I really love it. Now these shackets are hugely on trend. I mean, they're everywhere right now. But what I like about these is that even when they're not on trend, they're really easy to wear and they're gonna be something I just throw on. That's really why I decided to get it because I wanted something I, I could just throw on, a longer coat that I could be comfortable in if I wanted to wear like super casual clothes underneath. I mean like sweats and a t-shirt. It's really, really comfy casual clothes. Like in the mornings when I walk my dog, it's really cold out and sometimes, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, sometimes I just wanna throw on a coat over my pajamas and just walk the dog and come back inside and then have my coffee. So I had that in mind when I picked up this coat, but I wanted something really stylish. I wanted something to be really cute and something that I would also reach for, you know, whenever I was gonna go out or if I was running errands, just an easy casual coat that was still a little bit of a statement, very cute and easy to wear. And the colors that are going through this are really light and airy, but they are so like versatile. The blues that are going through this, it has like a little bit, like a faint purple going through it. These are the colors that I wear, like jeans, and I have been loving purples lately. These colors, they go with everything. And here I'm just wearing an all black outfit. Like I'm showing you, I kept my palette very simple so I can change out all the coats, but it looks great with this all black look as well. So I've been really loving my jacket. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen how I styled this with a, a knit set that I got from Zara. So head over to my Instagram if you're not already following me. I'll have the link to my Instagram in the description box. Oh, and one thing I do want to mention about these jackets is that every one that I've ever tried is oversized. I was actually having a conversation on Instagram with one of you guys, and I know the picking a size was a little bit nerve wracking because you just want it to fit over your hips, especially for me, I am bigger on the hips, so I have to make sure that I fit my hips first and then I worry about the rest of my body. <laughs> so I was pleasantly surprised at how oversized these ran because I knew I was gonna be able to find one that fit me and that fit me in the way that I liked. So these are very easy and laid back, these shackets. So you guys will be so surprised. I got this one in a medium, but truthfully, if they had a small, I probably would have gotten it because while I was in the store trying it on, I was like, wow, it looks a little bit big, I don't know. But now that I have it, I really love the oversized look. I love the fit of it. I can button it up very comfortably. It doesn't pull across my hips or my butt or anything like that. And I can wear a super chunky sweater under it if I wanted to, or I can just wear a t-shirt. You know what I mean? Like very easy to wear. I love these. These shackets are like no brainers. You can really just throw them on with anything. They are a very casual look, but I just love that about them. They're really, really, really comfortable to wear. And they kind of just remind me of like flannel shirts. You know what I mean? Like I feel like flannel shirts come back every single year they're functional and they can be fashion. So if it's your style, I wouldn't worry about it being on trend versus not on trend next year. It's a really great piece. So if you find one that you love, just go for it and you know, make it your own. Now this next coat I wanna show you guys, I love because it is a very sophisticated buttoned up sort of a coat. I like the fact that it looks like a blazer. So that's how I treat it. I treat it more like a long line blazer. I love the style, very classic. This is something that's never gonna go out of style. So if you're someone who's not sure about a jacket, if you feel like it's too trendy and you don't know if you wanna you know, take the leap, then I would stick to more classic styles and shapes like this one because you're never gonna get sick of this one. It goes with a lot. It's a neutral, but it's an interesting neutral. The check print has a little bit of a burgundy, like a brownish thread going through it. Very nice, a little bit of a pop, but it's not doing too much. So you can still wear it with a lot of different pieces in your wardrobe. I do like it. It looks really nice here paired with its all black outfit. Very classic, so slimming. Oh my gosh, I love this. But you can easily throw on like a button up shirt and a pair of jeans or you know, a camel color cashmere turtleneck and a pair of jeans or a pair of slacks. So you can, you can really work this coat a lot. It goes with a lot of things. And easily you can throw on like a knit set, like a knit jogger set if you want to do something super casual. One of those knit jogger sets from Zara with a pair of sneakers. And that's a great look as well. You're, you can take that on the weekend. You know what I mean? Like, so if you, like, let's say you were going on a work trip. Oh my gosh, this would be perfect. This is the kind of coat you would take on a work trip because you can wear it in the airport with like sneakers and a knit set if you needed to. But then of course you can throw on um, like a sheath dress underneath or a button up shirt and a pair of slacks and a, a pair of pumps and you're good to go. So that's, this kind of a coat is very, very versatile. The last coat I wanna show you guys is one of my absolute favorites. This is a staple in my coat collection and one that you guys ask me about a lot. I've actually gotten a few messages and comments about this coat. If you guys have followed my channel for a while, then I'm sure this is a coat you probably have seen. But anytime, any winter I can wear this coat, I definitely reach for this coat. It's 
A classic style for me, I love the gold embellishment. Like, oh my gosh, I love it. It's a maxi coat. It fits really nice. It's so tailored, but I didn't have to make any adjustments to it, which is so rare. I mean, I don't often like take my coats to get tailored or anything like that. But when you find something that is almost like it was made for you, it's so perfect. The shoulders fit great. The sleeve length is perfect. The length of the coat is perfect. It has a tie belt. And of course, like I said, the gold embellishment is so me. I love this coat. I love maxi coats in general because they're really great toppers. Like coats for me, like I said, are toppers. So I throw them on with whatever, but this one is the statement. Like the coat is the look, you know what I mean? And then I've worn it in the past with a driving cap, or I also have one of those uh, equestrian style caps that looks really cool here. Like a military sort of look. I've worn it with my black um, Louis Vuitton boots just to really drive home that whole military look. So cute, absolutely obsessed. It's navy blue, which is a great neutral, so it goes with a lot of things. I can wear it to work, I can wear it with sneakers. Now it is really long, so when I wear it with sneakers, um, I notice that when I'm going up steps, sometimes it'll drag on the floor. So that's something to be mindful about if you guys are looking for a maxi coat. And if you're petite, like I'm about 5'6", so I'm not like petite or anything like that, I'm just average height, but this coat is really long. So. If you're a petite girl and you look for a maxi coat, make sure that it's not too long that it's like uh, drowning you. That's not gonna be too flattering at all. So I would just pay attention to that. But maxi coats are really nice at creating long lines and creating a really slim look. So that's something you guys should look for if you're interested in adding a maxi coat to your collection. So those are all the coats that I wanted to show you guys from my collection that I'm gonna be reaching for a ton this winter as soon as the weather drops and gets cold enough for me to wear these coats. I'm really looking forward to it. Let me know where you guys live. Let me know in the comments what state you guys are in. Let me know, do you have like harsh winters? Do you guys need to like really layer up and bundle up? Or are you guys, you know, just wearing shackets this year? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. And don't forget, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you. And if you haven't already, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.